<laughs> you see, we're making dreams, guys. Hello, everybody. Boy, I'm excited today. Have we got a recipe? We, well, we have. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it, but first of all, we'll come on to some congratulations. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a pug. This is Amy, obviously, as you know. Uh, I'm trying not to get the white hair on my black jumper. All right. She, uh, if she was in a slimming club, she'd be getting Slimmer of the Year award, wouldn't you? Because we've successfully got her down uh, to a healthy weight. When we first got her, she was a teeny bit overweight. And um, we just done it gradually and slowly. And we went to the vets yesterday like, congratulations. So if it was a slimming club, you'd be getting Slimmer of the Year and you'd get a cake to celebrate, wouldn't you? So we'll give her some more dog biscuits. So well done, Amy. In fact, she's probably going to really want this sandwich today. If you didn't know, today we are doing a recipe part of the Taste the World playlist. Uh, if you've missed any others, have a marathon at the end of this video. Check out some other inspiration, including uh, a Battenberg cake. Uh, and we did some bunny chow from South Africa last time as well. But today, this one's from Uruguay. I don't know anyone from Uruguay. If you are from Uruguay, hello. That's really cool. Then I feel like I kind of know someone. Let me know down below. Um, the only person I know is a footballer called Luis Suarez. And boy, he likes to bite things. Football jokes. He's a good player, but he... we're gonna try and make a Chavito sandwich, or is it Cavito? I'm not sure. I want to say Danny Devito, Dorito. I don't know, but it's basically a bacon lettuce tomato sandwich turned up to like a billion. It is extremely naughty, and I think it's one of the most popular things from Uruguay food-wise. I think Dolce de Leche. Oh, again, another thing that I probably not pronounce right. Dulce de leche. Dulce de leche. Chivido. Chivido. Oh, okay, cool. The story goes the Chivido uh, sandwich. There was a lady who was Argentinian who went into Uruguay and wanted a goat sandwich because I think the translation actually means uh, goat. It means little goat, yes. And basically it was in something like the 1950s, something like that. This lady goes into the restaurant and she wants a goat sandwich. The chef, uh, which was a male, Mr. Carbonaro, Nice, bit of pasta reference there maybe. He just basically did probably what I would do and maybe some of you, just literally like, right, okay, uh, what have I got that can taste like goat or what can I do to just make this the most epic sandwich in the world? And he, he did this, he came up with this thing. I don't know if he meant to do it on purpose, but he winged it, he got a bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwich. So all of that is in there, lettuce, tomato, bacon, uh, your mayonnaise in a big soft bun. He slabs in some sirloin steak, some ham, and some bacon, and a fried egg, and mozzarella. Amazing, that is what we are doing. It's gonna be quite quick, actually. The first thing I'm gonna do is just basically prep everything before doing one big batch cook and piling it together. I've been told to get a big white bun. I was tempted to go get like a brioche thing, but I think that's a bit cliche at the moment. So much brioche buns everywhere, so let's just go old school, let's just get a little bun. Iceberg, right ahead. Uh, this isn't an iceberg lettuce. This is a lettuce called a uh, little gem. And they're small lettuces, they're little compact. But what I like, after giving a little wash, hopefully you can see that, it's uh, nice and moist. We can just tear the leaves off and they're kind of almost like perfect uh, for a sandwich. I don't really think it matters what lettuce you use. Uh, let us not worry about that. So I've got some tomatoes. All I'm doing is just making some thin slices in there. I couldn't find a beef tomato, like a larger one. I tend to quite like that when I'm making things like that because it kind of covers the whole layer. It's quite a big tomato. But instead, what I'm going to do is make like a little sort of tomato carpet. So you can see like the lettuce tomato of the BLT vibe going on. We have got uh, some streaky bacon, which I'm going to cook. We've got a sirloin steak, which is just at room temperature now. <laughs> We've got eggs, which we're going to fry. Oh. And something I'm not cooking is I got some of good quality uh, ham carved, all right? Just like that. A Couple of thin slices. Obviously, we're gonna cook the steak, bacon, and eggs. The other thing we can do is chop our mozzarella up. If there are any Uruguayans watching, hello. Uh, I hope I'm doing this kind of justice. Please remember, I'm just doing my best to kind of replicate it and inspire others, but I think it's gonna be great. I'm doing some quite thick slabs of the mozzarella because we're gonna put it in the pan uh, to melt it and sort of sweat it a little bit. That's big slabs like that, foundations for your house. Yeah. Oh. Remember, if you want to make your own homemade mozzarella, I did a video on that ages ago. But there we go. That's pretty much all the prep done. Wow. You don't need a diet, do you? You're quite thin anyway. You just haven't had any babies. 
Right, first thing I'm gonna do is toast my buns. So no oil needed right now. Hands. Face down in there, just to get it charred. Now those of you that have been a follower of me for years will remember the Big Mac video I did years ago. Uh, dressed up as Samuel L. Jackson, actually. Flip them over, a couple of minutes, and we'll build our burger. Uh-huh. In that video, I didn't like toasting buns, and that's still a thing, but the internet has made me toast buns literally ever since that moment, and now I kind of can't not do it. But I do generally prefer a burger without toasted buns. I think it does add flavour by charring it, and also a little layer to stop any seepage of sauces and stuff, but it's just personal preference. Hey, World Slimmer of the Year. <laughs> All right, mate? Oh yeah, that'll do nicely. You can push it further if you want. Yeah, happy with that. And the good thing is our pan is hot. Let me get these little bits of breadcrumbs out. And just to one side here, I've got the steak and the bacon uh, on a board. So you can see, hopefully, that I've just added a little bit of pepper. I'm just gonna do it to the other side. Salt as well. Oh, baby. All right, a little bit of oil. Now, you don't have to do this, but because my kitchen does get quite smoky, I'm gonna put a lid on the pan. So I'm just gonna cook this up. You can cook it to your liking. Rare, medium, rare, well done, whatever you want. All right, so that's been about, oh yes, wow. It's been about four minutes. And what I'm gonna do is place my bacon in there with it. What we're doing is crisping the bacon up, so it might take a little bit longer than the steak. But the other thing I've got right down here is some kitchen towels so that once it comes out, it can rest. Because resting a steak, as we found out in previous videos, is a very good thing indeed. Makes it nice and tender and juicy. All the juices go, Ugh! relaxes it. It's not like, Ugh! anymore. <laughs> so I'm leaving this to rest. The bacon is still cooking away in that pan in the juices from the steak. I really want to crisp that up and we can let that rest too, which is the next scene you're going to see. No you're not, you're going to see Slimmer of the Year, huh? Give me five. Okay, don't. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you if smell o vision existed. Come on, I, you've got to make this. This is so simple. We're pretty much nearly there now. We've toasted the buns, we've got the prep done earlier. The bacon and the steak is cooked all in one pan. I actually had two more pans ready over there, but I'm doing it all in one. It's working quite nicely. I've got the eggs ready, so we're going to fry these up, and the mozzarella is going to go in there with it as well, just to melt too. And then I just pile it up. As a side reference, I am so glad I skipped my cornflakes this morning because this is going to be good. In goes our egg. I'm going to be a bit cheeky and put some pepper into the egg white. Look at that. And the yolk as well. Wow, what a legend. And what we'll also do is place some of the mozzarella. You see that? It's quite strong mozzarella. It'll take a while for it to break down. We'll just cook this through like that. Boom. That looks cool. It looks like a country. Or a paw print. It's a paw. Amy, look, this video is totally about you today. Yep, so that is cooked through. I am taking it off the heat. I'm going to slice up my steak now. So I'm just going to cut it into strips. I did kind of want to leave it as one big hole, but I couldn't tell if one big piece is meant to be there. But I quite like the fact we've got strips. And now we build this thing. Oh, damn, you smell good. All right, let's try and build this thing. Bun is going down. I hope I get this in some sort of order. I mean, does it matter? So I'm gonna take this lettuce and I'm gonna do two layers of it. I'm gonna squeeze on some mayonnaise. Mm-hmm. I mean, the burger guy inside me really, really wanted to put ketchup on that with it. Or maybe mix a bit of the two together. This is some of our wafer deli ham. You see, we're making dreams, guys. This is it. I never knew about this recipe before I was emailed it. This is awesome. Keep them coming wherever you are in the world. Now, the strips of steak. Oh, good gosh. Oh, I want to see all the layers. Oh, that little bit's going to escape. Can he get on? Yes, he can. No, he can. He's staying off. He's staying off. Now to try and give it that stability again. I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> Tomatoes. Ugh, the warmed mozzarella. Oh my gosh, our fried egg, jeez, 
Look at that thing. <laughs> and then, of course, because it's not enough, we're going to put crispy bacon on top of that. That's looking blooming awesome. I feel like the bun just needs a little bit of mayonnaise and we just shove that on top like that. <laughs> wow. Oh, the bacon fell out. Oh, look, the yolk. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Something burst the yolk for us. Oh my gosh. Blimey. Never have I wanted to slice something up so much. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at those layers. Wow, I love that. Oh, it's pretty neat, isn't it? I think that's sort of almost Instagram worthy. Or should I say Insta ham? I'm gonna eat this now. Okay, I totally might have given Slimmer of the Year and Boston uh, some steak off camera then, but I feel like they deserve it. Look at this thing. <laughs> oh, hello, <laughs> it's got a tail. Ah. Oh, <laughs> mm. my word, Mr. Carbonara or whatever your name is, that is sensational, what an invention. If you're Argentinian, go over to Uruguay, see what else they can come up with. That is insane. It took me a moment to register what this thing even was. Normally I bite into something and I know straight away this is going to be great. But the textures, the flavour, I went for smoked bacon, there's a little hint of that. Even the pepper into the steak, the softness of the egg, the mozzarella gooiness. <sighs> the freshness of the salad, the ham, the may everything just works. That is the first time I've ever made this. I completely winged it. But hopefully it'll inspire you guys to give it a go and yours will probably look better than mine. Enjoy it. If you do, uh, send me a picture. I'd love to see your attempts at it. And of course, check out the rest of the Taste of the World playlist. Let me know any other ideas you've got from your country. Um, maybe some pulled pork. Uh, maybe some... So there's a crazy Indian dessert thing with carrots, I think. But anything, wherever you are in the world. If you're from Wales, Welsh rarebit. I'll, I'll have a look around. We'll, we'll keep doing this. I love this. Well, not as much as I love this. Oh my gosh. Goodbye. <clears throat> Check your level player, no matter what your style, the kitchen's for me, Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. And today's final word goes to Amy, Slimmer of the Year. Nothing to say? Just want to eat? Proud of you mate, well done.